In this video, we will demonstrate how to assemble and set up a Simplify Access Solarc unit. To do this, you will need the following tools. Safety gloves, torque wrench, 11 16 inch socket, 3 8 inch socket, 17 mm socket, 17 mm ratchet wrench, and a multimeter. Your batteries will ship separately from the Access unit in individual boxes. Make sure to inspect the batteries for any damage that may have occurred from shipping. Unpack the individual batteries from the box. Remember to read carefully the installation guide thoroughly before assembling your access unit. Mount the access unit on level concrete. The exact positions of the access enclosure's bottom knockouts are included in the access manual. Make sure all five battery module circuit breakers are in the off position. Prepare the battery modules for installation by removing all black and red terminal boots, 11 16 inch stainless steel hex nuts, and 3 8 inch lock washers from the battery's terminals and set aside. Place three 5 3.8 batteries in the bottom of the cabinet and arrange three 5 3.8 batteries on the access's top shelf. Orient the modules so that the battery terminals point toward the access door with the negative posts nearest the bottom of the access enclosure. Attach interconnecting bus bars onto the battery's terminals. Each positive bus bar parallels one set of three batteries, positive to positive to positive, and each negative bus bar parallels one set of three batteries, negative to negative to negative. Notice how each pair of red and black interconnecting bus bars offset one another. The trailing end or open end of the bus bars are at opposite ends of the three battery connection. This is a best practice for creating similar resistances amongst each battery in the bank. Gather the lock washers and hex nuts that we set aside earlier, along with the 3 8 inch flat brass washers included with your unit. Attach the flat washer, lock washer, and hex nut to the terminal posts. Secure the bus bars to the battery's terminals using an 11 16 inch wrench socket to tighten the nuts to 160 inch pounds. Connect the included 2 watt cables to the interconnecting bus bars using the included 3 8 inch brass hex head cap screw. All connections are in parallel. Each positive cable connects from each interconnecting positive bus bar to the five point terminal bus bar. And each negative cable connects from each negative bus bar to the negative five point terminal bus bar. Remove the lock washers and 17 millimeter hex nuts from the two available posts on each five point terminal bus bar. Use a 17 mm wrench to tighten the remaining ends of the 2 watt cables to the 5 point terminal bus bars. We recommend using a 17 mm ratcheting combination wrench. Leave the 5 3.8 batteries built in breakers in the off position until the basic functional tests. Wiring the PV to your Solark Axis 12K and functional testing of final installation. Making DC connections. The solar contains two built in MPPT charge controllers, each containing two solar PV input ports for a total of four PV string input ports per solar. Adhere to the relevant solar model's charge controller specifications when sizing the paired solar PV array. Before connecting the solar PV, verify the cable polarity and mark the cable accordingly as positive or negative. The Access Solark is equipped with multiple knockouts. Utilize any one of these to feed the PV wiring from the PV disconnect into the Access enclosure. Strip one half inch of insulation from the PV conductors and insert into the appropriate charge controller port. Ground the solar PV array by panel frame grounding to any ground connection in the home using 12 AWG wire. 
Solar PV mounting structures typically bond frames together, so only one ground wire is needed. Basic functional tests. The following procedure should be followed once the installation is complete and before it is put into service. Step 1. Confirm all connections. After the AC and DC wiring has been installed and connected, check that all connections are correct and secure. Step 2. Apply battery power to the inverter. Measure the voltage and check polarity at all battery connection points. Measure the entire Phi battery bank's voltage and polarity on the Solark's DC positive and DC negative connection points. Supply DC power to the Solark inverter by turning on the Solark's DC disconnect and then turning on the on off button on the front of the Solark unit. The inverter will power up and the inverter display panel will turn on. Step 3. Verify inverter programming. Although the Axis Solark is pre-programmed to the correct battery charging parameters, the Solark equipment offers different functionality based on various other settings. Refer to the Installation Manual's Programming Section 5.0 for more information. Step 4. Apply DC and AC power to the inverter. Turn all relevant DC and AC disconnects on. When first commissioning the system, leave the Solark's load output breaker off and all circuits in the main housebreaker panel off. If the Solark is programmed to a mode of operation in which the batteries discharge to the main housebreaker panel, refer to section 5.3 of the installation manual for more information on the Solark's modes. Step 5. Fully charge the battery bank prior to powering on loads. A connection to an AC power source will result in the Solark automatically charging the batteries from that power source when the Solark is turned on. If the system does not include any AC power source and only solar PV as the battery's charging source, turn on the PV disconnect and wait until the Phi battery bank has had a chance to charge fully via solar power before turning on any loads. For DC coupled systems, the solar PV array's on-off switch is at the bottom of the Solark unit directly below the solar PV string inputs. Step 6. Turn on loads. Fully charged Phi batteries will reach a charging voltage of 54.4 to 56 volts DC and will then rest at approximately 53.3 volts DC as soon as they are no longer actively charging. At this point, turn on the Solark's load output breaker and main housebreaker panel circuits if applicable.